Hello, my name is Joyce Rupp and I've just written a new book called Fragments of Your Ancient Name, 365 Names for the Divine. And each of these is a 10 line reflection on one of the names, followed by a suggestion of how to reflect on that name during the day. So it was 50, it's been really been 15 years in the making. I, I actually think it started way back when I was uh, in my early 30s the first time I ever heard someone name God other than the Trinity and, and Jesus was at a morning prayer experience I had in my community. And I still remember when Mary, we were doing shared prayer, and Mary started praying and she said, God of the morning. And I thought, God of the morning? I never thought about calling God any, the God of the morning. And it really, literally just woke me up. And I started thinking, I guess there's that's wonderful and I felt I just felt an opening in my consciousness like I didn't have to have this boxed in sense of, of naming God or who this God is for me. Do you want me to do that? Read a few. This prayer from fragments of your ancient name are this particular one is the Shekinah which is from the Jewish tradition. The Shekinah uh, was a name that the Jewish people gave one aspect or one name of the divine uh, in the Exodus journey. And so this was my reflection on Shekinah. Oh, the power of your steady presence sweeping through the soul's journey. Although you are invisible and unseen, you come to dwell among the people as a guide through the long wilderness, a light of assurance and remembrance. Your spirit resides in the tabernacle and in meeting places of soul with divinity. In you, Shekinah, is found the paradox of your remoteness and your nearness. This name for divinity is taken from the Quran, and the name is the Enricher. Like soup without salt, like song without notes, like heart without love, like lily without scent, like sea without waves, like bird without wings, like flute without song, like sorrow without tears. So is my life without you, you who enrich each part of it. It was a wonderful experience writing the book because I didn't realize how much it would do for me personally in reflecting on these many, many facets of, of who, who the divinity really is. Mm -hmm.